What up? This is Fish on a Heater with Tournament Takeaway, where we take a look at a single battle within a Silver Arena tournament, just break it apart into little bits and pieces, um, look under the hood, uh, work out what we did well, what didn't go as well, uh, work out what we can take into the future, what we can learn from it to take into future battles. Um, last episode, I took a look at a battle against uh, a guy in the Pokemon Go Radio Discord tournament. Um, his name is PGR Overseer. I'll put a link somewhere. I should learn to start putting them like up here or something, but um, maybe maybe there. <laughs> um, anyway, um, oh, you'd think I'd get better at this after 20 episodes of it. 20 episodes? That's coming up on six months. That's crazy. Um, yeah, so um, I had a lot of exciting battles uh, in that tournament. Like, there were it was a six rounder and there were a lot of good ones and this is another one of those good battles. This was against the host of the podcast, one of the hosts, his name is PGR Salt. And don't let that ranking fool you because he is better than that ranking suggests. Um, he would be a lot higher if he played more tournaments. Um, he, you know, unlike me, the, the tournaments aren't like the, the be all and end all of Pokemon Go. There's other stuff that he does. And also he has a job. <laughs> but, uh, I mean, I, I have a job. It's just not around at the moment because of COVID. But anyway, um, so yeah, um, I, I just made so many mistakes. So many mistakes when battling him. I'd already wrapped up the, the matchup to nil um and this was heading into the third but uh yeah just I'd, i was having so many issues at the time uh voyager cup was just such a, a difficult one for me um let's see let's see what happened there is one thing that went right and that is the lead so the bastidon versus altaria um fantastic start for me the only thing that really went right up until the very end um if that hadn't happened and everything else had then i would have just been crushed but um thankfully i did get that good lead so salt builds up a little energy first um unfortunately he does throw it now he could have he does swap after this i think he should have just kept the sky attack there not thrown it and uh, swapped out then. Now you can see that I've gone the double grass. the Which, which was a thing that had been working for me a fair bit during Voyager. Um, it also didn't go well for me in a lot of battles. But um, So yeah, it's a very risky strategy. It's um, the Bastiodon, the Meganium, and the Venusaur. So I had brought up the Switch it again i had brought up the switch menu um thinking okay ready to counter switch um but then saw that it was a grass counter so i thought mm, okay better keep the bassidon in and here's where i start just losing everything uh, <laughs> because i'm just so I'm, i don't know not in the zone at the moment i throw a flamethrower at a fire pokemon rather than a stone edge which would be super effective i don't know what happened there but uh, you could even see, I might uh, just go back there, wait for that checkering. <laughs> you can see just like a little pause, like, what What did I just do? Luckily for me, it's shielded, because Salt was there thinking, he wouldn't be stupid enough to, to throw a flamethrower. Which, yeah, I'm, I'm, I can hear him thinking exactly that, like, okay, hmm. I don't think he's stupid enough to throw a flamethrower, so I'm going to shield this, because it's obviously Stone Edge. Shows what you know. Um, and then, okay, here's the next thing. I brought out the Venusaur. So, here's my thought process. And I think it's a valid thought process. Um, obviously, I had that really good lead, the Bassidon versus the Altaria. He brings the Altaria out, and it took me until after I threw that flamethrower to realize, wait a minute, my other two Pokemon a Venusaur and Meganium, which are both shredded by Altaria. So I need to keep that basket on safe because that's the only hope I've got against Altaria. You know, um, then the next thing, right? I had Meganium 
and I had Venusaur. I know that Altaria is one of his team, right? I, I know two of his three team uh, Pokemon at this point. The Altaria and the Marowak. Venusaur has Frenzy Plant and Sludge Bomb, as you'd know. Both are resisted by Marowak. Earthquake on Meganium is super effective. So that places more shield pressure on the Marowak. Also, um, Venusaur, if I get into a situation where I have to match up my Venusaur against the Altaria, I can at least hit for neutral damage with the Sludge Bomb. Whereas Meganium has, you know, the, the Frenzy, Play, Frenzy Plant and the Earthquake that are both double resisted by the Altaria. So if I lose this Venusaur, and then for some reason I can't get my Bastiodon in against the Altaria again, then I'm stuck having to fight an Altaria with a Meganium that has absolutely no hope. So in this situation, I absolutely needed to bring out the Meganium to take on this uh, this um, Marowak. Even though Meganium loses that matchup, I needed the Bastion, Bastion for Altaria, and my Meganium I could afford to lose because it gets crushed by both of the Pokemon that I know are in the team, rather than just one. I'll let through a Shadow Ball too, because why not? <laughs> Um, throw a Frenzy Plant, that's fine. And almost managed to get it down, but not quite. So now I'm faced with this situation. What do I do? Bring out the Bastidon. Was it better to bring out the Bastidon or the Meganium? Uh, I would say it was the right decision to bring out the Bastidon there. Because uh, I bring out the, the Meganium, right? And the Meganium is going to finish off the Marowak. I still don't know what Salt's third Pokemon is, right? So I'm, I can only assume that the next Pokemon he brings out is the Altaria. Um, let's see, what else did he have? Um, what, what other counters to Meganium? Did he have there? Really, really nothing else. So, like, either he's going to bring out a Haunter or he's going to bring out the Altaria. Um, both not really good for me. Um, the Haunter would be a much better thing for me than uh, than the Altaria. But, yeah, so if I bring out the Meganium there, I finish off the Marowak and then Salt's got Switch Advantage. He can bring in whatever he wants to counter the Meganium that's still out there. Um, if, however, I bring out the Basketball, finish off the Marowak there, Salt then really has to bring out the whatever Pokemon he's got in the back. He's not going to bring out his Altaria in most situations. He's not going to bring out the Altaria when my Basketball's out there. So then I get to make the decision, um, am I going to try and save this by, you know, switching out to my Meganium and letting him come in with the Altaria, or um, am I going to try and get Bastiodon to beat both this new Pokemon and Altaria? I hope that makes sense. So for example, like if I if I brought out the Bastiodon, the Marowak faints, and then Azumarill comes out. I get to now decide, or oh, am I gonna try and, like, I, I can't swap to my Meganium, because then it, Salt will just uh, bring, bring in the uh, Altaria, and, you know, that's my counter gone. So I have to decide, am I gonna try and beat both an Azumarill and an Altaria with the, um, uh, with the Bastiodon, or am I going to pretty much sacrifice my Meganium, try and get energy up elsewhere, etc, etc. So, that's what I did. I brought out the Bastiodon. Oh, I really hope that made sense.
and what comes out it is a haunter uses the last shield and so then I decided to bring out the meganium there I, I made that decision that okay this haunter is going to take out the rest of my Basidon I decided to risk it by bringing in the meganium knowing that that the um, the Altaria would come out and start pumping me full of sky attacks. <laughs> um, I thought that was uh, more of a chance for me to win than you know watching the Bastiodon go down and then trying to to face the Altaria with my Meganium. Um, I hear that referred to a lot as a uh, win condition, which I think is fantastic. It goes to a lot of that uh, game theory thing that I've talked about in a previous episode. Ooh, I'm going to put up more links as well. <laughs> um, it, it's um, assessing, you know, what the... It's it's something that's hard to do is kind of think about all the possible uh, branches of what can happen for the rest of the battle and kind of pick which lane uh, is the best for you to go in. So, yeah, I thought it was... I was better off just keeping whatever slither of health, health, health that uh, the Basketon had left, bringing in the Meganium, trying to chip as much uh, health away from the Altaria as possible, and then going from there. I kind of regret using my shield there, so that's another mistake. And now here is where I just try and chunk as much damage out of the Altaria as possible, because yeah. Otaria double resists all of those moves, but they still do a, a, a bit of damage, like it still adds up. So I'm using the second shield here. And... <laughs> I was getting connection issues too <laughs> all weekend, so not even all the problems were my fault. And this is where I think I managed to fix it up again and kind of get back in, in the right mind frame. Uh, because I knew that the Haunter was in the back with whatever it was, like two-thirds of its health left. Um, and it, even those Shadow Claws do a lot of damage. So, the Bastiodon, like, I, I could have actually, amazingly, I could have taken out the rest of that Altaria with the Meganium. But then Haunter comes in, takes out the rest of the Meganium, takes out the rest of the Haunter, uh, the Bastiodon. I don't have any energy there, so I can't get to another charge move. I can only rely on fast moves. Fast moves wouldn't have been enough. So what I did, and I'm, I'm pretty impressed with myself for, for being able to get back in the right mind frame to think that quickly, was I built up the energy needed for a Frenzy Plant, swapped it out, I'm like, I'm gonna have to look at that. And the sky attack doesn't even faint me, which is fantastic. And then Haunter takes out the rest of my basket on. I still got that frenzy plant there. <laughs> Don't even get the excellent because uh, of the connection issues, but the frenzy plant is enough to take out the Haunter. So I, I loved that battle. Despite all the terrible issues, it could have like there, there were so many things that could have happened that kind of made that easier on myself but um yeah and, and credit to, to salt too like he they, they, they were fun battles like that um like i felt i felt we were pretty evenly matched over the first two and uh in this one as well um and yeah just managed to pull out the win um happy to get the four points <laughs> um uh, I ended up, uh, I'm happy to report, I uh, ended up, uh, despite Voyager Cup being such a bad cup for me, um, that one tournament I did manage to go 4-1 and get the equal win. Um, it was a, like I said, six rounder as well, so like 32, plus, 33 plus people um, all battling, and yeah, I, I got the equal most win, so really happy with that. Hope this helped. I'll see you next time.